All right, y'all, it's, it's been a minute since I've done a video, and I apologize. I've just had a lot of activity going on in my world. All good, but busy, and uh, I just haven't sat down to, to do anything. But uh, no excuses, just been a little distracted and, and a little bit lazy. Sometimes you need a break. But uh, I wanted to talk about the for some time not i'm for a long time i've had this one tucked away i haven't talked about it but uh the logo in the ford mustang is a very profound mandela effect for me and it's i'm not saying that this cougar picture is what i'm saying i remember it being that's not the case i'm just using this as a a first photo to show the the history in this timeline of what the Mustang was intended to be or, or concepts that were associated with it. And what the logo is today is very different than the reality I grew up with and what I remember. But it originally, just so you can see this photo, they were thinking of calling the Mustang the Cougar. And that was the, the emblem they were going to use. But, of course, we know Mercury later on launched the Cougar. But uh, this, was, this was an idea they were thinking. The, instead of the uh, Mustang, this car would have been known as the Cougar. But it didn't, it didn't become that. Then they played around with this, this Mustang idea. And here's a good uh, prototype of, of an idea they were thinking of, just kind of like a chess piece. And that one, of course, didn't come through. But the reason I bring this up, and this is this is a good Mandela effect to talk about. And if you're not familiar with what the Mandela effect truly is, it truly is people remembering living in a reality that was that is different than the current reality they find themselves in. And it's not mismemory. As much as this reality pushes the idea that we all have bad memories. Many of us know it's not that. There's something much bigger going on. And before you call me crazy, I, I can tell you 100%, I've experienced this so many times. I know the reality that I grew up in has changed. There have been, and it, and it continues to change. I've watched it change right before my eyes many times. And that's a hard pill to swallow. But it is the case, and, and many people have documented that. that. At least their experience with it is what I'm saying. So the reason I bring up this, this Mustang Mandela effect is, one, you really haven't seen too many people talk about the Ford Mustang Mandela effect. That's, it's not one that is very common. So it's, it's about time we throw this one out there and let you all hear about it. Also... The way I came about remembering this Mandela effect is, is almost a technique that I would recommend. And, and a lot of my Mandela effects have not been this way. A lot of my Mandela effects have been, I have an anchor memory of doing something, saying something, giving a presentation about the world. And it was in that state at the time. That's the way everything was. So that anchor memory ties me to the, the occurrence. And I know things have changed. The other way that I've known things have changed is just because I've watched them change. You know, when I first was immersed with the Mandela effect and seeing how reality was changing, I was tracking everything. And during the course of that, there were times where one week I'd be tracking a major change and then it just flipped and it went back to what it was before or to something completely different. That has happened to me numerous times. I, I don't know how many times it's, it's happened so many times. And then the other one is, seen things change right before my eyes. That's that's another like, well, I can't deny it. I just watched the thing right in front of me change. And then there was, of course, the building that I'd shopped at for 10 years. It was an HVAC supply house. That disappeared. It was no longer on the road that I had always gone to. And it was down a road I had never driven. That blew my mind. <laughs> and and it's always been in this timeline, it's always been there. So these are these are different ways we know that reality has changed. Mine 
also began and was triggered by a prayer, um, a, a personal crisis in my life, a, a great depression, wanting to no longer continue, asking God to release me. And instead I had this like near death experience. It was, it was traumatic, full blown conversation with God. And then an enlightenment, uh, a joy, a peace, a new vitality for life. And then my eyes opening up and seeing behind the veil, um, seeing a lot of dramas between good and evil and and God allowing me to see that reality can change and that, and it was I considered it a gift still do am always appreciative but the Man, the Mandela effect around the Ford Mustang is a little different for me because how this happened I was I was on a Mandela Monday broadcast with Scared Performance and the crew at that time and if you remember Life Matrix and Dan he start they started this together they started Mandela Mondays and it was just those two for a while. And I came in as a guest later on and then later on became a regular. But Life Matrix was not a regular at this point. And he called in just, you know, he'd call in occasionally and say, hey. And he called in one evening and said, have y'all noticed the Ford Mustang logos changed? And, and I stopped him. I said, don't tell me what it's changed to. Let me just grab what I've known it to be my whole life in my mind and let me describe it. And I did that. I shut my eyes. I went into my mind. I was like, okay, this is what the Ford Mustang has always been for me. And as far as I know, that's what it still should be. And I started describing that logo. And Life Matrix was like agreeing and then chiming in his own. And we were both describing the exact same logo for the Ford Mustang. And, and at a certain point, I said, wait a minute. You're saying that this is no longer the the logo he said not only is it no longer the logo it never has been and i said what and and so i i I looked up real quick what the ford mustang logo was in this world and i said no freaking way that is so different than what we just described and as far as i knew that was the that that was the logo so here are two separate people both pulling from their memories a a description of a, a logo for the mustang that's completely different in this reality we, sh- we should not be, I mean, if there's ever been proof that something's happened, how do two guys who just barely know each other are talking about their memories of the Mustang and have exact perfect memories of this logo that never made it into existence? And I did find a prototype that the, 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 the logo that Matrix, Life Matrix and I were, were talking about, there's a prototype for it. So I guess in the world we lived in, that prototype made the the cut and it was the logo for as long as we were around. But this world, it didn't make the cut. So this, this is a, so this picture here is what the Ford Mustang currently is. This is, this is, and pretty much what it's been since they rolled that thing out. This is not the horsey that Life Matrix and I were describing. This, this, this guy is different. This, this looks so weird to me when he first told me about it. And I looked at it, I was like, this, this is completely different. So let me show you, let me go through. Okay. So there was original concept. I guess it was looking more like that. I like a Bronco, but this is the logo that it is shiny and smooth. This is not at all what, what Matt and I were describing. There's the Cougar. Here is the concept of what Matt and I both were describing. This this logo here is the logo that I had grown up with, that it always was, and until 2017, I thought it still was. And here it is on an emblem. This is the prototype. That is the Mustang logo. In the world that I grew up in, that's the guy. Not in this world. That one didn't make the grade. So the, the lesson on that is, the, the, the takeaway is, if I hadn't have shut my eyes and started to, just to describe the memory of this logo with Matt at that time, I probably, or I may not have had the certainty that this thing changed. 
So that technique, before, before somebody shows you what it is now, it's sometimes good to shut your eyes and go into your mind and say, okay, what, what was it? And lock that in before you look at the updated version because sometimes your mind, in this world, your mind can get washed over with the, the new and if you don't have a strong anchor on what it used to be, you'll lose it. And it's just real easy to get confused about it. I call it the mind fog. But that method right there was what confirmed for me that this thing changed. And a lot of other things, you know, I think it's easy to get updated. And, you know, things in this reality are constantly getting, you know, presented to us all day long. And our subconscious will pick up on that. But we're not consciously noting it. So... That could also account for why we sometimes have dual memories. We're getting exposed to this reality's logos, but not really consciously focusing on it. So it, it can overlap. But I know things have changed. I know the world is different now. And I know that this logo, for me, this, this guy was not what I grew up with. That is not the world that I grew up with. That That, that other horse, his chin was up higher, his... His tail had more detail than lines in it. In fact, the whole body had a little more definition. This is a smoother looking horse. His mane is more, on this one, it's it's different. I mean, everything, the mane and the other horse had more detail and lines to it, and it wasn't so spiky. This is a, a different look, a very different look. It's a different world. That's all I can say. Um, just had to give you some sort of upload here, and I've been meaning to talk about this one and the technique that was involved in... Uh, and just remembering what it used to be. And I know I, I'm not trying to step on people's toes with their belief systems. I know this is a hard, this is a hard thing to, to, to digest. Uh, we live in a crazy world right now. These are crazy times. And, and <laughs> adding this to the mix probably isn't, uh, isn't a good time for it if, if somebody's just newly getting introduced to this. But for those people who have been aware of this for many years, this, this video is kind of for you and uh, just wanted to share that experience and add it to the collection of data that we've all uploaded and shared our testimonies. Anyway, hope you have a great day. I'll try to do some more videos. A lot of changes going on, on in my life right now and uh, that, that's just been keeping me busy. But uh, y'all take care and God bless.